Good afternoon. I'm back. So it's October 20, oh, 22nd or 23rd. 1992 W124 300 E and um, <clears throat> been having a problem with uh, fog lights are kind of one of them is on and off sometimes and uh, the high beams one of them is on and off sometimes um, the last video it all worked except for the flasher part of the high beams. So today I'm gonna to replace this combination switch and the headlight switch. And the first thing I do is I disconnect the battery. You're supposed to let it sit for about 15 minutes. I let it sit for 15, 20 minutes. I turn the key on just, to, just in case any of these modules have power in them let them drain especially it's for this you want this to kind of be deactivated because it can go boom in your face never does but you never know uh, okay so I'll just leave that like that now i bought some uh Let's see, some, some new parts. So here I have a, uh, this is a Euro part. This is the ignition switch. And we'll compare it to the Mercedes one. This is the part number. Um, now that car, when we got it, I don't know, it's probably 12 years ago. Um, I did replace the, uh, not ignition switch, uh, headlight switch. Um, I did replace it uh, about 12 years ago with a Euro um, switch. So it's lasted a long time. I have a feeling that uh, it's responsible for the fog light issue since this is the part that you have to activate the fog lights with, pull it out. And you're always turning this knob, you know, with headlights and all that stuff. So I'm going to replace that. And then I have the combination switch. It does everything. And it is part number. Right there. Okay. Looks pretty decent. Looks just like the Mercedes one. A nice new wiring. I'm not sure what this is for, but we'll figure that out. Let's look at the solder joints. They look just like solder joints. Nice and clean. Got a nice new stock here. There it goes like that. So you got everything. positive clicks and that's what we've got to get working so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start uh, taking it apart okay for the headlight switch and a lot of this stuff has to come off anyways for the combination switch so you want to pull this out use one of these guys or something over here pops out Then you have to get get that out. 
out. The switches don't come with these these buttons, so if you don't, huh? if yours is bad, get one. So there's a two eight millimeter. there so, so you gotta get those out okay there's uh there's two bolts one here one there take those out and then there's a uh at least mine had a phillips uh screw in it and we'll just keep taking stuff apart that's weird that there's nothing there. There's two holes here. <laughs> I wonder what happened to that. And then uh, undo this. It's, I think, 24 millimeter. But I just used one of these little guys here. And it just unloosened it. Okay, so. Of course, the sun is blinding me again for October. It's beautiful here right now. Man, check it out. Southern California, probably about 74 degrees. So oh, I'll take that any day. I've got to get this. There's some more screws here, but I've got to get this thing off. The joy. connector right there oh, okay so this part comes out like that this part comes out like that here's the ignition switch this thing's already kind of loose uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I don't know if you got to take this whole thing off um, probably easier access I'm gonna go look at the directions but I'm pretty sure you got to get this thing off here at least to get to the uh, <clears throat> this part yeah this okay. post just pulls right out of that uh, hole right there okay there's uh you got to pull this off the uh, parking brake handle and get the screw there's that's what those two screws are down there missing well either they fell out so uh, that's, okay that's loose I guess uh, then you gotta get these uh, one two three eight millimeters okay so yeah so um this thing is loose. The only thing that's holding it is the uh, the engine um, hood release. I'm just going to leave it on. Um, and the parking brake. I just took that thing and uh, got it out of this. Uh, place where it lives. So it makes it a little bit looser. Things pretty steady. So now there is the lovely switch. Where is it? Mm, there it is. So now we just got to uh, get that out of there. So you just grab it, turn it, and it's out of here, then just unplug it. Oh, look at that wonderful. Yeah, it just needs to be unplugged. I think it's got snaps on it, kind of. Like that. Okay, let me 
Can't try to get that out. Yeah, just put a screwdriver under there and then just twist it. It'll, uh, it'll pull right out. Hard to do one-handed. But we're getting there. Ta-da! Cool. That was pretty easy. That was a little 10 minutes. Now let's check it out. Let's compare. Let us compare, compare, compare. Well, I think this was a Euro part. I know the last one that I replaced, I think the original Mercedes one, it was real crunchy. And when I took it out, you could shake it and hear plastics. There's all kinds of stuff in these. So here is the replacement. Looks pretty similar. Yeah. And look at all those lovely wires. All those connections. Now one of these is for the fog light, so, you know, who knows? Okay, I'm just going to reinstall this. I'm just going to leave it lay there until I get everything else back together. And we'll start working on the, uh, the stock. Easy, you just push it on. All right. Okay, T27. <laughs> two pin and I just stuck a little tiny screwdriver that I had under the uh, just on the side of it it'll pop right off couldn't get it off with my fingers now it's uh, safely off padded side pointing up in case it decides to explode it won't be shooting metal everywhere it'll just have a big old bag. Isn't that just wonderful to think about? So, um, wow, this is the first time I've done this, so cool. I think we'll just drive it like this. Um, now we're going to look at the instructions. We've got to take the wheel off. Good God. What is that? Looks like it's made out of plastic or something. I'm going to have to see. So there's some marks here. I'm going to have to mark this to uh, remember the orientation. Wheel should be straight before you do all this stuff. So when you put it back on, it'll be straight again. Okay. What did I look at? So this is a 10 millimeter Allen. Okay. There's 
right in there. And I can put an extension on here and with a breaker bar, I'll loosen it. I'll have uh, my son hold the wheel. All right, so in the instructions, it says have somebody hold the wheel while you break it loose, right? With a breaker bar. I had my son sit here, both hands could not do it. You know, it just was like just springing action, springing action type of stupid. So I put a pipe right here, through here, and then got it to, uh, got it to break loose. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy, see, see they, don't, they don't show you that in instructions. No. You good now though? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I'm good, Th thanks for trying to hold that oh, steering wheel. Right. It's like a ridiculous, <laughs> I think oh, it's I was, so I was cranking it all the way to the right. And this and is the way we'll tighten it back up. I don't know if you were pushing it with your body weight or just... I was pushing it with everything I had, but yeah. you're, you've oh, well. got a steering lock. It's strong, but it's not that strong and so you're supposed to hold it try to help it but i thing was just bouncing it was springy you know yeah this it's solid and it gives you the leverage oh you cool. use the uh part from pete that's part from pete's music yeah <laughs> okay there's that wonderful whatever you call it <laughs> make sure to put some of this blue stuff uh, Loctite blue when you reinstall it and then I put in a, I put a white dot so when I put the steering wheel back see that's just I use spray paint a little end of a q-tip or something and mark the shaft so it'll go back And then just pull the sucker off. Boom. Look at that. So I didn't have to disconnect any of those wires. Awesome. Sweet. I try to steal the car now, buddy. Um, look at all that dirt. Hmm, I wonder if that's what they call the clock spring. Is there a little piece missing out of it? So bizarre. We'll figure that out. Okay. what the back of the steering wheel looks like. I think these are replaceable. It's pretty clean right there. I think this is where you get squeaking in your wheel. Um, what else? So, I gotta take the rest of it off and we're getting closer to it. It's just right there. Okay, then there's uh, two little screws right here. Oh, this one's there. I wonder if this wheel's ever been off in its lifetime. They're little tiny, tiny screws. They got blue stuff on it. Okay, got that one. And now, not sure what we're going to do now. So these are the contacts. With a horn, I guess. So weird. I 
I gotta take this thing apart. Oh, I got this thing off. Hmm. Let's go see some instructions. Yeah, this one's, you know, I'm looking at instructions from uh, that peach part, peach, what is it? Pelican parts. Okay, so I took that, the knee bolster thing off. Well, just uh, this was the only thing pretty much holding on the hood release. Just get that out of there. Get it out. It's irritating. <laughs> and then I took this thing off real easy. It's just one, one eight millimeter. And then it, these little clip things right here. I don't know what that's for. It must be a, I don't know, speedometer cable. Who knows? Put that out of get it out of here and then there's this uh tie wrap i have to get it loose it's so weird soft and supposedly this thing pries up you gotta be real careful with it because there's something about if some wires that get unraveled we'll see so yeah just pull on this thing turn around so you can get to it then push on this this way and it unloosens the whole the whole thing I guess you don't have to take it all out it's just you want to kind of unloosen so all this stuff is going to be able to slide out in this thing I guess it was just those two little so I got to use my hands to uh feed the wire out. I forgot there was another screw holding it so there's one two three screws so check that out and pull it through. Haha oh. <sighs> <laughs> ta da and now so some screws here holding this thing in there. But then there's a there's a 14 pin connector that we've got to find that's hiding somewhere that's right here. Gotta get that loose and got it when we pull this thing out. That big connector thing has to feed through here. And then it's the reverse. It's time consuming, but you know, it's first time. So I'm sure if you've done this before, it'd probably take you freaking half an hour. <laughs> so there's that connector right there. See that crack in it? I want to stick a little screwdriver in there to help it come out. Got it. Worked real good. A little screwdriver you can kind of stick in there and get, get a head start. See, no blood, no blood, no blood. I mean, I was going, oh yeah, it's gonna slip and my hand's gonna hit these sharp things. So then I got this. And uh, this thing has to be pulled all the way through there. What joy. What joy. Okay, let's keep working at it. Okay, three Phillips head screws. Now, supposedly, I think there's one screw. That screw is longer than these two because it holds the uh, holds the uh, cruise control. I gotta do this with two hands. Let's just pay attention. <clears throat> this routing of this wire here, all that stuff. I'm going to clean all that stuff out, but uh, it's pretty much loose. Now I just got to feed the massive. What else is on here? Sweet. Yeah. 
What a mess. What are you doing to my car? Um, okay, there's this long screw. So I'm putting those up there so I don't get them mixed up. Now, looks like you got to separate. Separate that. Uh, cable somehow all right this wire goes through dang yeah it's got to get this wire out um maybe it's the whole thing that comes out uh, it's, i think you got to take it off the cruise control then put it on the table, work on it like that. What do you think? Yeah, okay. One more note. See, I'm gonna review this when I put it back together. Is that the cruise control cable snakes right by that uh, under the uh, telescoping switch. And then this goes way back here there's a there's a, another plug you got to unplug then I can pull this whole thing out and bring it onto a bench and work on it I got it I got it out because like that no catch or anything it just pulled out okay now, I wonder if you, if you have to do this with a Tesla. Oh God. Let me get up. Let me get up, get up off the ground. I'll probably put this back together tomorrow. It's starting to, sun's going down. Okay, so, oh, okay, let's snake this through here, come on baby, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, ta-da, <laughs> I got it, here you dog. Yeah, it's a little bit of work. The good part is you don't get greasy. Oh, man, I'm telling you. Um, what is this part? What is, what is that on the new one? What a nightmare. It goes like that. Cruise control right here. Good God. Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, open a cold one and look at this thing. Alrighty. Okay, so we've got to <clears throat> switch some stuff over. This is the cruise control on the old one and we got to put it on the new one. Um, oh, by the way, um, this plug right here, um, this is for, let's see the, uh, mine doesn't have it, yours might not. This is for the station wagon rear um, wiper washer pump. So just leave that disconnected or cover it with tape if you want. Um, so this one, let's see. See how it just comes right out. And on the other side, there's some catches. 
no, not the other side. Uh, it should just slide. It should just slide right out. Grab a couple hands and straight up. And then you've got to get rid of uh, this uh, connection right here. Or uh, this holder. There, see there's a right there. There's like two little catches that you have to push in to get it to slide out. So I'll work on that. So the way I'm doing it, is I put a screwdriver underneath it and then um, get a screwdriver on either one of those little catches, turn the screwdriver so it'll clear that, you know what I mean, rail, thin little screwdrivers like this, like this. You're not gonna be able to get it with pliers, but once you get it, you release those catches. God, it's like an octopus. It's really clumsy and irritating. <laughs> But then it just slides right out. See what it looks like? Then just transfer that over to the new unit. Just like that. Sliding it in. There. Yeah. Okay. That one's that one's in. Yeah. Once you get it in there, when you're pushing it all the way in, you'll hear uh, you'll hear it click. It'll click in. So those little uh, those little catches. Where is the damn camera? Okay, there. Those little catches will find their little homes there. That way the thing won't come apart on you. Okay, what's next? Uh, let's see. Yeah, next uh, is this part. You can put this part in first. Might be easier for you. I probably should have done that, but it's okay. You can pull the uh, cable up and get it to uh, slide into uh, this right there like that okay I'm sure the holes lined up yeah right there all right so we've got that part on then there's these spring things right here I think it's for the horn contact. I'm half blind doing this, but yeah, I've got to pry these things out real gently and they're spring loaded. Transfer this to these guys right here. Okay, yeah, I can see, uh, I think there's a slot, little slots here, so they only go one way. Okay, that's the way I'm doing it. Had that screwdriver to a lid, the same little screwdrivers, and just start prying it up. And it'll it'll come out it's tight don't break these or you're screwed you won't have a horn it's still a bigger screwdriver okay 
Let me check that little thing out. Wowie. So that one, oh my gosh, let's see. Is that this way? So this one, it's got a little ridge right there. Let's get that in there and push it all the way in. Springy. Do the same thing for the other one, and I think we're ready to in reinstall it. Yay! Okay, putting it together, pretty straightforward. Um, don't forget to put the blue stuff on so this thing doesn't come loose down uh, five years down the road. I'm putting it on everything I can. I don't like it when stuff gets loose. It's not too hard. It's the easy part, putting it back together. Now when you're putting this thing back together, you'll you'll feel it when you turn this and everything lines up, it'll it'll just kind of click and drop in so that it's nice and sturdy. Okay, I got the three screws back in, looking at the operation on how it uh, Okay, and we've got uh, this spring here. Spring here is good. Um, cool. I think I'll clean, while well, I have this off, I'm going to clean this thing off. Maybe put some, uh, I don't know, why does it get yellow like that? Or I cleaned it off with a Windex, but never... You, you, you can never get to this part, <laughs> you know. All right, got all the wires routed good. The tie wraps. This is where the the kick panel or the knee, whatever it is, attaches. So keep the wires behind there, kind of, and line up all these uh, all these things that move. Line them up. So that uh, you can see the hole, so you're not struggling with all these fasteners. Oh, wheels back on. T27, T27. This just came off of one of those uh, little multi tools. I took it apart so that it's it's easier to undo these uh, little screws that are in here. It's easier to undo and it's easier to tighten, so. Crazy. Whole family of them. All done. All put back together. Um, used all the parts. Nothing left over. Um, everything works. All the lights work. Um, before I was having, I don't know, two, couple, three videos ago, I was having a problem where... Uh, the high beam flashers weren't on up. 
One high beam light was out. One fog light was out, but all the bulbs were good. So I just, uh, I traced the power a little, a little bit and I said, you know what? It's the switch, the light switch and the combination switch. And after 30 years of using those things all day long, they, uh, they get worn out. So, uh, I highly recommend this is a Euro product and, um, I'll put a link, uh, where you can get these at. Um, I'll give it a shot tonight, drive it around, see what it, see if it, uh, lights up the road. I'm sure it does. Okay. Later. <music>
Thank mm-hmm. you.